How much can one body take? Get up! Get up! Hurry up! For the next 61 days, 200 of the Army's toughest soldiers will willingly subject themselves to torture. Nearly half will quit or collapse. The reward for surviving? The coveted Ranger Tab, a 50-cent piece of cloth that symbolizes membership in the most elite combat fraternity, America's legendary commando force, the U.S. Army Rangers. There you go, there you go, Pilgrim! Join us for an unprecedented glimpse inside the brutal gauntlet that separates Rangers from all others, following one class each step of the way to the trial by fire that is Ranger School. How much can one man take? Meet the Army's premier strike force. These are the U.S. Army Rangers in action. As elite shock troops, the job of an Army Ranger is clear cut. Attack with lightning speed, day or night, across land, sea, or air and kill an enemy before he knows what is hit. As frontline commandos, these men know they will be the first to fight and the first to die. Let's go, Ranger. Get up there. Up and over. To select new Rangers, the U.S. Army has forged a nine-week course, which will weed the weak from the strong under conditions as miserable as war itself. Since the Rangers were formed during World War II, some of the fiercest soldiers on the planet have proven themselves in the legendary torture corps known as Ranger School. Camp Rogers, Georgia, day one of Ranger School, class 10 0 240 of the Army's finest soldiers have volunteered to pit themselves against this grueling test to see if they have what it takes to be a Ranger. Get ready. Get set. Begin. Before they finish the nine-week course, nearly 75% will drop out, claimed by injury, fatigue, or failure. You better sound off while you're here doing these exercises. Get the For the first time, Cameras have been allowed inside Ranger School for an exclusive glimpse inside this torture test. You volunteer to come here, Ranger. During the first week, the relentless battery of physical challenges called Ranger Assessment Week will quickly weed out the unfit. I think I'm a sergeant now, sir, huh? Yes, sir. You need to start understanding. Do you understand? Right, sir. On day one, the Ranger hopefuls are introduced to the men who will control every minute of their lives for the next nine weeks. What are you doing? Straighten your legs out. Get with the cadence. The Ranger instructors, or RIs, are all themselves veteran Rangers. Their first role with any new class is one of pure intimidation. In our formation. You're one of those. I know you're one of those. Just do the bare minimum, enough that it takes to get over, right? That's all you want to do is get over. Hey, don't talk back to him! For the most part, that's what it is. It's psychologically uh, a shock to them. They're not expecting it, and we just, I mean, we're, we're on them constantly. While the yelling and harassment might remind some students of Army boot camp, the intensity of Ranger School will make basic training seem tame by comparison. At the end of day one, 23 Ranger students have already dropped. For those who remain, three hours of sleep gives little time to recover from the pounding and stress. Run, babe, run, babe, run me some more, babe. Each day dawns with the same agenda as the last.
pure agony. This 5 a.m. speed run will burn legs and lungs and drive 26 more men from the class. Those who can't hack it are sent packing with little remorse. Ranger Page, go get your equipment, go change your clothes, and get out of here. That way you kept the plane home tonight. The scorching Georgia sun also takes its toll. Heat stroke literally cooks the students where they stand. Captain Damone Garner, an 11-year Army veteran from Tennessee, knows he must overcome the mounting pain. Wait for my razor, buddy! If you can tell your mind and tell your heart and soul and you can do this and you can see the next man, if he, he's making that first step, then you can make that, that first step. The towering obstacles of the water confidence test exist solely to expose weakness. Any fear of heights will be instantly revealed. Walk the log, Ranger. One student injures his neck after plummeting into the water from a 30-foot rope. Within seconds, he's in the hands of medics and on his way to the hospital for recovery. Medical attention is always close at hand. Since four Ranger students died from hypothermia and exhaustion in 1995, their deaths brought to 27 the total number of lives lost in Ranger school. Amid the physical hardships of Ranger Assessment Week, the students also hone their hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. <laughs> Armed with small weapons or their bare hands, every man must perfect the oldest killing methods on the battlefield. Ranger! Ranger! Each Ranger class has candidates from other branches of the military and from foreign armies. With razor-sharp bayonets fixed to the muzzles of their rifles, the men must show that they can survive on tenacity when technology fails. No! By day four, 61 more students have disappeared from Class 10 0 Men must constantly be pushed to the breaking point to prepare them for the stress they may one day face in battle. Hey, baby! Yeah! Yeah, get some October 1993. A company of U.S. Army Rangers is ambushed on a mission in Mogadishu, Somalia. The assault force of 160 Rangers stood muzzle to muzzle with thousands of heavily armed militia. Against these murderous odds, the Rangers lost 18 men as they fought their way to safety. With this grim memory guiding them, the students are pitted against the urbanized terrain site to learn how to survive when the fight is house to house. Oh, hey! Run me now, run me now, run me some more. Oh, hey! Run me now, 